good people and today here at Sports Gamers Online we're going to be going over what you've all been waiting for. The big changes coming to your my player on next gen consoles. And also at the end the improvements to artificial intelligence in 2K21 as we transition to Xbox Series X and PS5. So alright let's get it. First off although there were more pie charts added to 2K21 on current gen as we transition to next gen pie charts will no longer be in the game. I repeat pie charts are gone. Instead we'll be given complete control over setting each individual rating to the cat that you prefer. With obvious restrictions based on your height and weight and of course we won't be able to max out everything possible. But the key point is we as gamers will now have more control over making the exact type of player we want in NBA 2K21. Also as far as badges they've been completely redesigned for next gen gameplay. Some favorites return while most have undergone some huge makeovers. With some completely new ones, some revived from the past, and others were completely removed, more on that later. Now the badge point system and the equipping process is similar to what we've grown accustomed to from last year, but it might be in your best interest to have a fresh outlook on every badge, as something you may have overlooked in the past might just be the perfect complement to your playstyle in ways you didn't expect now. Some of the new and returning badges are as follows. Fearless Finisher which boosts contact layups and decreases fatigue. Heat Seeker which boosts takeover progress on inside shots. Highlight Film boosts teammates takeover progress on flashy dunks. Hook Specialist boosts hook shot ability. Revived Posterizer improves your contact dunks. Rise Up boosts ability to do standing dunks in traffic. Anti-freeze makes it harder to get cold and lose takeover meter progress. Blinder causes your players to be less affected by peripheral defenders when shooting jumpers. Ooh. Circus threes improves your ability to hit pull up and step back threes. Fade ace boosts all post fadeaways. Hot shot increases takeover meters faster when knocking down jumpers. Deep three seems to be a reworded range extender. Rhythm Shooter boosts shot percentage out of size ups as well as one step pull ups. Set Shooter causes your shooting ability to get better the longer you set and wait before pulling. Sniper boosts the ability to hit shots when using Pro Stick Aiming. So we actually have a badge attached to the Shot Stick Aiming now. Stop and Pop 3 are for the JJ Reddicks who want to pull up for threes in transition. Bullet Passer gives you the ability to throw laser dots like LeBron James. Relay Passer boosts the shooter on pass to assist situations. Special Delivery boosts takeover progress for the passer and receiver, also slash your pass assists. Ankle Braces makes it tougher for ball handlers to break your ankles. Clutch Defender boosts your defensive rating in clutch moments. And Hot Stopper boosts takeover meter for good defensive plays like steals, blocks, and good contests. Now we mentioned some badges were removed due to being redundant or the community thought they were stupid. So these are the badges you can say bye bye to. Consistent Finisher, Contact Finisher, Cross Key Scorer, Fancy Footwork, Fast Break Finisher, Deep Hooks, Pick and Roller, Relentless Finisher, Showtime, Deep Fades, Flexible Release, Hot Start, Pick and Popper, Pump Fake Maestro, Range Extender, Quick Draw, Steady Shooter, Pass Fake Maestro, Flashy Passer, Lob City Passer, Lightning Reflexes, and Moving Truck. So there are definitely some surprises on there and a few I think most of the community already knew served no point. So it's good to see they're trimming the fat in that regard. Now in terms of takeovers for those new to 2K, takeovers are their ability to get hot and take over games with boost to your abilities. And instead of limiting players to a general archetype based takeovers, they're now broken down into 24 more specific takeover abilities. Where you can basically look at them now as unique badges that you can unlock once you get hot. And there, Advanced Gathers unlocks more effective Spin, Euro, Hop Step, and Cradle Gathers. Finishing moves lets you be able to absorb contact and finish at the rim. Easy blow buys enhances your ability for slashers to beat defenders off the dribble. Pull up precision boosts well timed aim shots off the dribble. Ankle breaking shots cause you to have more ankle breakers off the of spin and step back jumpers. 
Negative impact reduces defensive impact against pull-ups and other skill shots. Limitless range extends your shooting range out to the logo. Spot-up precision boosts well-time aim stationary jump shots. Team ratings boost causes playmakers to boost their teammates' offensive ratings. Team takeover boost boosts your teammates' takeover meter progress. Team badge boost boosts your teammates' badges up a tier. Extreme clamps causes more stone wall and lost dribble body up resolutions for locks. Perimeter badge drop knocks shooting badges down the tier when you get close. Enhanced jump shot contests boost your ability to contest jumpers. Stuffed blocks unlocks more swat, backboard pins, and grab blocks. Paint intimidation boosts your ability to affect shots around the rim. Interior badge drop drops opposing scoring badges down the tier in the paint. Box out wall improves ability to seal off opponents for easy boards. See the future shows where missed shots are going to end up. Glass clearing dimes causes after rebounds for kick out passes to boost your teammate shooting. Power back downs makes it easier to push defenders around when posting up. Post playmaker boosts your teammates offensive abilities when passing out of the post. Advanced post moves makes it easier to beat defenders with post moves and post shot daggers increases your scoring ability from hook shots, fades, and shimmy shots. And takeovers will now be a multi-tier system. Once you set up your rating caps and vitals, you'll be presented with a subset of the takeovers listed above based on the type of build you made. Where you'll choose one ability as your primary and another as your secondary. You can even double up the same ability in both slots if you want to. Then in game, your takeover meter will fill up your primary slot first. And once filled, you can activate it and go crazy or attempt to fill up your secondary slot. Where the risk being all your progress being wiped if you do something stupid. Now if you fill both up, you'll be able to activate both takeovers together and keep them active for a longer period of time. You can even crush the buildings even further by waiting even after the second meter is filled and attempt to then fill up your team takeover meter. Which for those who don't know will enable your entire team's takeover and it's game over then basically. And just like encouraging activating team takeovers also allows you to have user control over your teammates in my career games. Now the most interesting part to me with next gen consoles is what NBA 2K21 will be able to do with the artificial intelligence and it's good things. First off, both on and off ball screen logic has been rewritten and the auto switching logic refined to reduce bad switching instances. Adaptive coaching engine, also known as ACE, now has the ability to recognize and adapt to different types of off ball actions, including flare, down and back screens and also handoffs. There will be improved logic for computer defenders to get in position to take charges. A big one is several improvements to transition defense so it's not as broken. They also have overhauled the hedge defensive system for better screen positioning and angle targeting. So hopefully soft and hard hedge isn't as terrible as it currently is and now works. A really interesting one is the players can now call for help defense by holding L1 or LB on your controller. So instead of hoping the AI chooses when to help, it's now under our control with a button press. What? This is beautiful and I hope it works as well as I'm imagining. There is also improved logic for defenders in avoiding each other when moving around obstacles. So hopefully this removes opponents running around teammates, hoping you run into your guy. And for the offensive side of the ball, there will be something called next gen game planning. This will allow players and AI to have more specific game plans for their teams. This system will allow the AI to target a team's best players. So if you play the Lakers, not only will they run pick and rolls, but you can have them be only ran by LeBron and AD. There's also a new game plan option in the pause menu where here players can select between eight pre-selected game plans that you can access in game through the on the fly coaching panel. There will also be double team counterintelligence where you will see the AI opt for more space and for shooters beyond the three point line and less movement as a counter to excessive double teams. So this probably cuts down on your players cutting into one of the defenders so they basically can cover two guys with one when they double team you. So this is cool. They also improved the AI's ability to time plays with the shot clock for buzzer beater situations. 
and we'll be able to set up our favorite plays for both the starting unit and another for the bench guys now. Many players wanted this and wish granted as 2K has moved player specific plays and player specific ball screens back to the L1 LB button with the favorite plays now being mapped to the D-pad. And there will also be an improvement to the pick and roll spacing due to the new spacing code that gives some pick and roll and isolation sets that extra adjustment on dribble penetration. And expect continued expansion on this as the year goes on. So a lot of exciting news and I can't wait for 2K21 to come out on next gen. We're less than a month away. Are you ready? And with that, let me know in the comments down below what's the most exciting thing you heard about 2K21 on next gen consoles. I can't wait to see all the AI improvements in action guys. And if you liked the video, make sure to subscribe to Sports Gamers Online for more NBA 2K21 content. And once you're with us, hit that bell icon at the bottom so you don't miss anything we put out. Alright people, I'm Chris from Sports Gamers Online. Thank you all for watching and be good y'all.